This is our first video on AP Statistics. If you have not already done so, I suggest you go and print out the note pages that go along with this uh, video. Otherwise, it's going to take you longer and you're going to have to write a lot more. But that's completely up to you. And I also suggest that you number your notes so that they're more easily will be Ooh, it'll be more easy for you to file them away in your binder. Data is constantly being collected. Um, purchase history, medical history, um, statistics and sports, data on those things are being collected. Um, and so these statistics are used to try to make sense of data collected. There are three basic reasons why we study statistics. The first of which is being an informed information consumer. We take data and we extract information from charts and graphs. We use numerical arguments and we see if we can use the basics of how the data should be gathered and summarized and analyze it to draw conclusions. A second reason we would uh, want to study statistics is so that we can understand and make decisions um, based on data. So once we have our data we have to understand if what we have is adequate and if it's not we collect more information in a way that's appropriate if it's not enough to make a decision. And once we have that we summarize the available data effectively, effectively and then we analyze it. Does what we found make any sense? And so we draw conclusions, make decisions, and assess the risk of an incorrect decision. Now statistics is not an exact science, but it is an important science. And we just have to be willing to accept that errors may exist sometimes when you're collecting data. The third reason we would want to study statistics is because it helps us evaluate decisions that actually affect our life. And so maybe in your previous um, dealings with math, you've had trouble seeing how math is really applicable to real life situations. And so hopefully through the study of statistics, you'll be able to see it um, more clearly. And through our study of statistics, we'll also be really writing a lot and writing technically. And that has helped people in a variety of fields, um, such as engineering, especially mechanical engineering. So what is statistics? It really boils down to three things. Um, it's the collection of data. And we, when we collect that data, it must be done in an appropriate way, and that's something that we'll learn through the study of this course. It's also analyzing data. Are there any patterns in the data that we've collected? Are there any trends that we can see? Does the same thing happen over and over and over again? And it's also drawing conclusions from that data. Statistics can be broken into two basic categories, uh, the first of which is called descriptive statistics. And that's the one we will study first. It's the method of organizing and summarizing data. And we do so by graph, graphically and also numerically. And the second branch, which we'll get to later on in the year, is called inferential statistics and that involves making generalizations from a sample to a population. And we're going to talk about what a sample and a population are in just a moment. Um, but basically you take a portion of the population to make a general statement about the whole entire population and then we use that to make estimations and decisions um, for that population. All right, so a population would be the entire collection of individuals or objects about which information is desired. So for instance, a population would be maybe every 18-year-old in the state of Texas. That would be the entire population if I was trying to talk about 18-year-olds in Texas. And then a sample would be a smaller amount um, of the same kind of thing. So for instance, so sample is a 
subset of the population, meaning it's a smaller portion of the population selected for the study. So whereas our population was all of the 18-year-olds in Texas, my subset of that might be only the 18-year-olds in Conroe. So if you look at the picture over here from the previous slide, it had everybody just listed here. The subset would just be these selected individuals in green. And that's the sample. So in general, we can't always find every member of a population. You just can't. And that's why it's necessary for us in statistics to get a sample from that whole population and base our decisions for the population just on that sample, which is why it's so important to get a sample that is representative of that population. So for instance, if I wanted um, to know something about the entire population of great white sharks, well there's no way for me to go out and find every great white shark that exists. So I would only want to select a few at various locations to try to get a general idea of whatever I'm trying to find about um, the entire population of sharks. So because it's so hard to find every member of a population, we almost always will use a sample in statistics. Now a couple of definitions to finish up here. A variable is any characteristic whose value may change from one individual to another. So a variable can be a number, but it can also be a descriptive word, and we'll talk about that in our next lesson. Um, so a variable might be someone's height or their income, but it could also be their gender or their hair color. And so we're going to learn about the different kinds of variables in our next lesson. And data are the observations on a single variable, or we can also do it on two or more variables at one time. But that's the actual numbers or the actual um, reports that you get. So if I'm asking everybody about hair color, that would be the actual colors. That would be our data. If I'm asking people about their age, that would be um, the number of their age and things like that. Um, if we're trying to do two or more variables, um, we try to see if there's maybe a relationship between the two, such as is income related to education level and things such as this. All right, to finish up, you will need a separate sheet of paper. And on that sheet of paper, please put your name, first and last, as well as the title of this assignment, which is Populations and Samples, and the date. And on this piece of paper, I need three examples of populations and three examples of a sample from those populations. Please be prepared to share this with, your with the class tomorrow. And for extra points, uh, please write the word purple in the top right-hand corner of your paper. See you tomorrow.